Well, I've been doing some reading this morning, and uh, wow. Um, what I got, it's about the Trump kids, and uh, they're looking for guidance. Uh, they're really getting worried now. They're talking to their dad about a preemptive pardon, hoping that's going to save them, but it's not going to save them, <laughs> okay? Um, as I'll show you what else we've got here. We've got the spirit of the family is still keeping things hidden, okay? Uh, there's a lot more hidden that's uh, going to come out when it comes to... Um, their successes, it's going to be a tower moment, okay? It's going to come crashing down. There's going to be a lot of uh, drama. And there's going to be facing loss, okay? Um, now, of course, the one I got for freeing them up was, of course, the devil card. <laughs> looking, looking for freedom, um, asking their dad for, the, for a uh, pardon. But it looks like they're gonna, they're trapped now. They, they can't go forward. They're, they're stuck in limbo. And it's not gonna save them. They're gonna have to sing, okay? They're going to have to sing, and uh, you know that um, that uh, Ivanka will turn state's evidence against her father when it comes down to it. So what we have here, the Dancer of Reconciliation, uh, reconciled that they, they're stuck. They're stuck. They're hung up here, and the light is coming down on these things. What's blooming is uh, ever more disappointment, feeling isolated, um, feeling isolated. And uh, the action is, again, trying to keep things under wraps, keep them hidden. Um, so they're continuing on with that, trying to keep things hidden. They don't want all of their things to come to light, but it's going to come to light. Um, it's going to continue to come to light. Because what we had up here was... Uh, They are, uh, the very first thing out was they're facing loss, and they are in an uphill battle with it. Again, facing loss of all of their holdings, everything they have that's made their comfy lifestyle. It's in the process of being lost because of all of the choices they've made, okay? The way that they've rushed in and done not smart things, um, really, they were not uh, wise. They were not wise. They just thought they could get away with anything. And so they made really bad choices. So what I get with it was when it comes down to it, you know, uh, he's going to try to give them a preemptive pardon. And they're still trying to see, they're losing now any type of ability to get away with stuff. It's like things are closing in on them now. And, uh, They're hoping that the uh, preemptive pardon by their dad is going to do it, keep them out of trouble, but it's not. It's not going to keep them out of trouble. Um, yeah, and it looks like uh, that Ivanka is going to maybe wind up testifying against her dad 
in some other cases that are coming up. She's going to put the blame on him um, for some things that she's been involved with as well. Um, so, oh, mercy, that's what I'm getting this morning with them. You know, I just started laying out cards, and uh, I wish I would have kept all of them, but I had put already uh, put some of those away. But that's basically what the whole thing was. They're starting to freak out now because things are closing in. Um, they're getting hung up. They can't do what they were doing before. They're being watched, um, and they're talking to their dad about a preemptive pardon, which they think is going to, you know, allow them to skate. But stuff is going to continue to come back on them. They're going to face loss after loss after loss. Just like Trump in his court cases now where he thinks he's going to win. <laughs> and they've got, what, 30 to 1 losses? So um, it's going to be basically the same thing. You know, he's going to try to um, pardon them. Now, I think I'm going to ask and see if it's going to work and tell me about um, Trump. And you know he's going to try to pardon himself. So how is it going to work out? What about Trump pardoning himself? What about Trump pardoning himself? And what's going to happen with that? Yeah, he's going to try to birth something new, okay? Of course, it's never been done before. So, you know, if there's any chance anywhere, of course, he's going to try to scam it. So he's going to try, try this system, and he's always done that. He's always pushed it to the limits. Um, that's why he's got somebody like Roger Stone who has a picture of Nixon on his back, a tattoo of Nixon, and he's always been on the edge as far as he can go with scamming things. Yeah, the temptation is there for the attempting to pardon himself. But I don't think it's going to fly. I mean, you can't sit there and be in this place of committing crimes and then getting yourself, get yourself a get-out-of-free-jail card. I mean, that's just, uh, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. So let's see what is going to happen with Trump attempting to pardon himself. Will he go through it? Will he go through it? You know, if he does that, then he's got to admit. He's got to admit that he um, that he uh, committed a crime. Okay. So is he going to try to enact that? It's a temptation. <clears throat> He's looking into it. So is Trump going to <clears throat> attempt to pardon himself, and how will that work out? Okay. Okay, so the first thing we have is uh, an ancestor of exile. He knows that if he pardoned himself, this would really put a damper on him being able to go forward and to get any kind of um, any kind of aid or opportunity. Things are not going to be so easily forthcoming. If he does that, he will be exiled as far as being a businessman. Okay. 
Um, so at the moment, he's having patience, and I think he is uh, looking to um, either, you know, the, these lawyers, some of these lawyers, they're saying be patient, you know, so I think he's consulting with them now. Um, and as far as... Uh, Drama, yeah, drama about him trying to manipulate things again. So, um, so he knows if he if he gave himself the pardon, if he tries to give himself a pardon, he'll be um, exiled from the business community. Everybody will know he's a failure and that he's a, a criminal. So now at the moment, he's trying to be patient, consulting with people, and uh, we'll see what type of drama goes forward. Um, so let's see what we have next. Okay, as far as vision, uh, okay, as far as what he's looking at, um, yeah, I think he's looking at um, Biden. Biden's presidency coming in because my card for Biden compassionate it's definitely not Trump <laughs> vision vision and um, what he's trying to do to keep in any kind of joy although I'd say it's not joy it's unhappiness at the moment the opposite is about him trying to keep whatever assets he's got, trying to hold on. He's trying to, trying to hold on, um, especially to what he has. Uh, independence, um, independent action, but he's really, um, you know, he's going to stay in his own, Thing. independent action he's going to just continue to fight and uh, put out his alternative facts because it's too much for him to, to take in it's really painful um, yeah really painful and he doesn't want to believe that Biden has won you know and so he's trying to hold on to whatever he can hold on to at this moment and continue to fight in his own, again, independence. Just absolutely just locking his knees and uh, he's not hearing anything from anyone. He's in so much uh, denial as to what's actually taking place. Um, so we have, as far as the tradition, he still sees that he is uh, president, king, and he should have these uh, he should have more opportunities. He still thinks that he rules the roost and uh, everybody should do his bidding. Um, but he's cautious. <laughs> we got the jellyfish. He's getting stung by these investigations that are still out there. Okay. There's a lot of investigations. Of course, he would like to uh, be able to close them down, but uh, yeah, can't do that. And yeah, he's uncertain, doesn't want to see, doesn't want to take in 
um, the reality about the United States, our Constitution and everything else that goes with it, who and what we are as a nation. He just, you know, no, he wants to be, he, he thinks that being president means he's a dictator, that he can just um, upend the laws, the laws of this country. And the one thing he is worried about, I think that's maybe my favorite card in the deck of that one, the caution with the jellyfish. He, he's going to get stung. He's going to get stung and it's going to be painful. <clears throat> so let's see what else we have going on with him and his uh, <clears throat> potential attempting to pardon himself. We've got uh, reflections. So looking back on the actions that uh, he has taken, and I mean, again, these actions are done not wisely, but just, um, and also, I think it's also the card of um, whistleblowers that have come forward, okay? We've got mystery. Yeah. He doesn't understand the ones that are coming forward um, to cause him pain. Okay. The whistleblowers and the ones that have con called, come forward, he, he just, you know, feels so sorry for himself. And the tests that are now coming forward um, because of the whistleblowers, because of that. Um, yeah, the wheel, the karmic wheel is, is it, uh, you know, this is karma coming back on him. Although he doesn't see karma, he's just in that spin of why me? Why are these people, you know, attempting to hurt me? He, you know, he's in his... Uh, usual spin of uh, that he's the victim. They're victimizing him. Why are they victimizing him? Um, why are they doing this to him? Okay. Doesn't cross his mind that what he's been doing is totally illegal and that he's a sour person and vindictive and hateful. That, none of that crosses his mind. <laughs> goodness. So we have the uh, spirit of truth. You know, those that are wiser, that have the knowledge, um, are coming forward to fight. They're just, you know, they're not putting up with his BS. We've got synchronicity. Of these powers now coming, starting to come in. Um, and these things are lining up against him. He, he is, you know, he's not doing well. We've got the leadership. Yeah, leadership, and uh, he is totally facing loss. Um, he's lost the position of leadership. So it, everything is coming down on him at this present time. But he's in a catch-22 position. If he pardons himself, then um, he admits he's committed crimes and the whole time he said I've done nothing wrong you know I'm, I'm squeaky clean it's you know this is all a fabrication okay so he's going to have to admit that he lied 
if he takes a pardon. So, um, he's in a conundrum, okay? Like I said, he keeps thinking about it, but then it goes back and forth. It goes back and forth. If he tries to pardon himself, it may not work. Um, he's thinking about the destruction. It could temper some of it. Could maybe get him out of some things. Okay. Child. Yeah, and I think it's just a strengthening his childish behavior. Um, maybe trying to say, I didn't know, I'm, you know, he plays the uh, victim innocent card. And last we have generosity. Yeah, of the those that are wise to have the truth that are, you know, um, yeah, those that have the wisdom and the truth, maybe it would help him in some way. Um, so uh, at the moment, it just feels like he's, uh, in a catch-22 bind, okay? Trying to birth something new, it's never been done before. So he's still consulting with people, but he knows if he pardons himself or pardons his kids, that it's an admission of criminal activity. And all this time, what's he been saying? It's all fake, it's a fraud, I've done nothing wrong, it's a witch hunt. So uh, if he tries to pardon himself, that's an admission that it's not a witch hunt, that he actually did these things. So I think we're gonna have to wait a little um, longer to see uh, if he is going to attempt to pardon himself or not. Because again, that's an admission of guilt. Okay. Um, I don't know if he's got the cojones to admit that he's been a criminal. Okay. Okay. So what I've gotten for his dreams, he's dreaming about, um, yeah, going forward. He's dreaming about um, how is he going to go forward? What's he going to do? Uh, with his life. How, how is that going to work? Okay. How is he going to go forward? <laughs> yeah. Because truth is catching up to him. You know, um, can he break out of his alternative facts, his denial to truth? Does he actually um, comprehend what he's done? Okay. Does he actually comprehend what he's done? Because these things are, are coming around now. You know, he's in so much denial. <clears throat> that who knows if he can actually comprehend the truth. Yeah, so he's worried about the unknown. 
what's coming next, what's opening up. Um, so at this point, um, again, he tries to insulate himself, has always tried to insulate himself from the truth by putting his alternative drama out there and actually he's done it well enough to get people to believe him and it's always gotten him out of trouble okay it's always gotten him out of trouble before but this time it's not working and he doesn't know what direction to go okay um Yeah, it just, he's, he's going through a transformation, doesn't know what direction in a multiverse. I mean, just every area of his life is getting hit now. And um, he can't figure out how to get control of it. And the people that he's... Uh, depended on before he's thrown under the bus Michael Cohen and now Barr and uh, Jeff Sessions all of them he's thrown under the bus and then he plays the victim okay he's the velvet queen the velvet Velvet Queen. Yeah, he's always been out there trying to create um, a persona that uh, wealthy, wealthy persona, okay, um, and that he's the victim, okay, he's trying to create the persona that he's, he's the one that's being victimized, and he's so, you know, they're all out against me, um, I just don't understand it. I'm, I'm doing the best I can for humanity. I'm doing the best I can. You know, I'm, I'm a businessman. I know what I'm doing. But, uh, you know. <laughs> so basically, yeah, he, he's uh, trying to see himself surrounded by wealth all the time. And everything's got to be soft for him. It's got to be soft. It can't, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, and seeing himself as a victim. And he is the star. He's the star. Okay. Yeah, the Velvet Queen. I'm the star, you know, and uh, they're, they're just jealous of me. Total crapola. But anyway, yeah, I just see at the moment that he is in a conundrum. Again, if he does this pardoning, and uh, the kids are talking with him about this preemptive pardon. So they think it's going to get them out of their crimes. Um, The other thing he could say is that, um, no, I'm not a criminal, but we're doing this because it's a witch hunt, to insulate myself against this witch hunt. Okay. Um, he may try that type of logic, if you can call it that. He may try that type of a logic. Um in order to be able to pardon himself and say, no, I'm not a criminal and, and I'm only doing this because of the witch hunts to, to protect myself against the witch hunts. 
maybe in his mind that's a way he could spin it, that he could spin it um, in order to um, in order to get through it. Yeah, so again, yeah, he's looking at it. Is this, is this going to heal the situation so I can walk away celebrating instead of uh, the, uh, the pain that's coming, you know, because he's always the victim. He's always the victim. So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. See you online.